Andy, okay, so um, I'm going to attempt to show you the radio. Um, I'll get some switch on you. It's being powered by uh, fairly basic power supply there, the old Manson. Um, I think you were querying the, uh, the knob, the, uh, the VFO. Uh, not that I can see anywhere on there. I mean, it's not as if brand new. I think you're just seeing the light really shining off the uh, off off the rubber. It's got like a kind of a faded rubber effect to it, but uh, I mean that is exactly what the rubber looks like. You can see the light shimmering on the side of the rubber there. Um, this is 20 meters, and let's see if we can get some power output. So we've got the this is your power output control there. Obviously, the microphone as we talk it up. Let's try and find a clear frequency. 177 on 20 meters. 111111. 1 2. 1 2. 2 2 2 2. 1 2. You can see 1 2. Low SWR there. And a full 100 watts. 1 2. 1 2. 1 2. 1 2. Uh, the antenna I've got plugged in does 17 meters as well. So if we just go in band, uh, let's pick about 150 there. Uh, 135 should do it. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Again, a low SWR there, 1 to 1 off the beam I'm currently using. Pointing over to Europe, nobody on 17 at the minute. 1, 2, 1, 2. And. Uh, Let's see if we can get a signal on 80 meters. Can't transmit on 80 meters. Um, I've got the antenna plugged in. We've just got the beam in there at the minute. But as you can see, radio is pretty much in as good a condition as you can get. Only thing, um, I do have one. I don't know if you can see it on there, just there, there's a, just a little scratch, just there, apart from that, pretty much unmarked all the way around, uh, either side of the radio, certainly no scratches that I can see elsewhere, so that's the radio really, pretty much in great working, clean condition, Obviously not as it was when it was uh, first brought out of the box, but uh, as good an example as you're going to find anywhere on the net. Anyway, that's a three minute video. Uh, as I said, the, uh, the unit comes with a filtered, um, a filtered and fused cable uh, from ICOM. And uh, there's no CAT cable. I think you were talking about a CAT cable. I've never used CAT on this. This has been a mobile setup for me. So um, I've not actually used used any uh, to the PC type connectivity. There's 40 meters. Very noisy on this band on this antenna. Obviously, it's a, a beam antenna for 20, so uh, you're not going to get a, a massive signal on 40 meters there. But uh, there's your two meter uh, your two meters up there. I haven't got an antenna plugged into the back. But uh, beautiful radio on, on two meters. There's a calling frequency there. Um, your different filters. And very similar uh, chassis to the Pro the Pro 3. Uh, the DSP, for, I think it's a different DSP. It's the same DSP as the uh, Pro and the Pro 1, or the Pro 2 rather. Uh, there's no different LED color. That is the color, of the, or at least that I'm aware of. I don't think it's got different colors on the uh, uh, on the screen itself, but uh, you can dim it. I think it's on the middle position at the minute, but it'll go a little bit brighter and it'll go uh, it'll go a little lower as well. Got the squelch there as well, and uh, uh, you can hear the difference in the uh, antenna input when you get an antenna uh, back down on on 20 meters.
man zu für eine Antenne hat. Ne? Äh, das ist wirklich ein ganz knalliges Signal, kriegt man nicht jeden Tag aus Deutschland. And you've got your different modes, so you've got your AM, your FM, uh, your SSB, upper sideband, lower sideband, of course. And then you've got many different uh, menu options in there. So that's it. I'll uh, post this up for you. Sorry, it's a bit late. I've been uh, uh, I've been out uh, pretty much all day with the boys today. Uh, we've been uh, down the music shop. My uh, youngest boy, uh, Ben, is uh, a big guitar guy, and uh, we've been uh, finding him some pickups down there. So uh, there we are. Anyway, hopefully uh, that uh, makes you happy. I'll send you the link, and um, uh, I'll drop that in an email to you. Speak to you soon.